Well, the wonderful location we're at for the AI Med breakfast briefing is the glorious PwC offices with the stunning views of Sydney. And uh, hosting us today is Richard Kelly from PwC. Thank you so much for joining us here at this mini podcast. No problem. Now, why is it that uh, PwC has become involved in the AI Med movement and why, uh, why are you seeing a transition towards AI more likely these days than it was, say, 10 years ago in Australia? Well, there's, it's a hot topic in industry and in the media at the moment around artificial intelligence and the significant benefits that it brings to different industries. Um, and you look at the other industries, <coughs> aside from healthcare, like financial services or manufacturing, and um, you can find some great efficiencies and optimization by applying this technology. However, when you look at healthcare in particular, um, certainly that still holds true, but um, it's the significant real benefit to real people um, where it really matters and that's you look at types of innovation like in prosthetics or diagnosis analysis or support um, and you, you can see how, how important um, healthcare or AI in healthcare is. And I think that's what is always coming out of these conversations it's the human element we talk about finance and we think of AI and we think about you know somebody reading receipts or something very um, tangible and practical whereas when you talk about AI in medicine I'm beginning to understand that it's more about the the person's journey through that through that movement. Yeah that's right and the, the, so there's a real opportunity for AI to redefine how healthcare is delivered um, so um, in, enabling individuals to be less passive on the healthcare journey and actually own their own healthcare and, and be a part of that journey. Well, it's certainly a benefit, isn't it? You get the opportunity to see what's going on in your own diagnoses instead of maybe there's things happening behind a wall. Yeah, and it becomes more about preventative medicine um, and, and trying to take well, one of the ideas is moving healthcare out of the hospital, which is the most expensive form of care, and into the community so that people have more ownership over that, over their own healthcare. So it's, a, it's breaking down that transition so there's not this you know you get this fantastic care when you're in a hospital then when you move into your home it breaks down a little bit and you haven't got access to that's that. right and you, and you talk about things like wearables um, and what the future may look like in that space and being able to monitor your own health in real time for example <coughs> um, will um, stop people or will help people not to need to go to hospital at the drop of a hat they'll mm -hmm. be able to monitor their own health or get um, healthcare professionals to contact them through applications on their phone, who knows. Um, and we're starting to see that happen. Look at diabetes, for example. Yeah, exactly. You know, little machines that beep and tell us when the right amount of insulin needs to go in and when things are really starting That's to go right. down. That's right, and they already have these kind of devices for people with heart disease as well. So they're already in place, but they'll become more commonplace, you'd think. Um, but yeah, and then um, and also, as I was saying, the diagnosis um, assistance for, for um, medical practitioners. Um, it's really exciting. And the other um, great thing that AI does is it, um, it allows humans to do what they do best, and that's taking away some of the mundane, um, repetitive uh, tasks like image analysis, etc. and it can do it much better and much faster and allowing humans to do what they do best, and that's be creative mm. and, and solve complex problems. And communicate and yeah, have and that build relationship, relationships, which right. AI, I don't think it's ever really going to do, but I might be wrong with that. <laughs> no, so, it'll, 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 it'll give us an opportunity to focus on that more. In, in, indeed, yes, <laughs> that's right. So PwC <laughs> is, uh, is obviously doing research and data in everything. Are you seeing a movement um, to more uptake with AI? Are we lagging behind the rest of the world? A little bit. Um, I think our adoption of AI um, is a little bit behind the rest of the world. Um, however, I think um, there's a real opportunity for Australia to um, harness its strengths in this space, whereas we don't necessarily haven't invested as much in this space yet. Um, we can look at harnessing our strengths by looking to our industry and our, our general um, a, a general movement towards fast adoption of new mm. technology. Which we do in other industries, That's don't right. we? Yeah, we're known for that worldwide. And then if we, and if we leverage our strong industries like healthcare, um, we have a real opportunity to, um, to you know, have something to say on the global stage in this space. Well, I'd like to thank PwC for offering us this wonderful space and, and your knowledge and your expertise. And it's great to see, um, you know, a large business like PwC partnering with, with AI Med and helping bring it to Australia. So thanks for joining us today. No problem.